their chief deity. And the name of the people that we consider the Hebrews is Israel, which means El persists. So let's be clear that those people that we consider the Hebrews now were the Canaanites. Let me hear y'all say it. All right, I can feel the vibration go up. All right. All right, I can feel the vibration go up. All right. All right, I can feel the vibration go up. All right. Okay. The second is of our spiritual energy representing the masculine phallic symbol. It has to interconnect with the female symbol. All right, I can feel the vibration go up. All right. It's of our spiritual energy representing the masculine phallic symbol. I can feel the vibration go up. All right. There were usually two of these set on both sides of all the temples in Kemet to represent the father and the son, Asar and Aset. The ruling king was Haru. When he died, he became Asar to resurrect, to be reborn, to live over and over and over again. You deify their complete works. These are their complete works. They laid down the principles, the laws of the universe. They charted the stars. They set up the zodiac, the zoomorphic energy of the sky that exists within us. The combination of all the animals in the world exists within you. You ever seen a fetus going through its various stages? And like how broke you are? Talk about how your funds is getting ready to come in. That's right. They're low, low now. You got that disease called my funds is low. Okay. <laughs> but you, but you, you're getting ready. To, it's coming. You, it's flowing. Can you feel it, brother? Yeah. It's coming in. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. It's why in all the sacred books it says, in the beginning was the what? Word. And the word was what? With God. With God. And the word was God. Where do you think they got that from? Amen. 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 Okay. All right. Amen. That's, that's why in all the sacred books it says, in the beginning was the what? Word. And the word was what? With God. With God. And the word was God. Where do you think they got that from? Amen. 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 Okay. All right. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Gold intensifies. Silver metabolizes and keeps harmonic energy like my aunt. And then copper boosts your electric charge, your electrical charge. Okay? If you add that, nobody who went to the temples in ancient Kemet regarded, that's why the, all the, the early Hebrews, the early Christians, they got that halo around them. That meant they went to the temples in ancient Kemet. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, other elders, you brethren, you followers of the truth, you few sisters as well. And let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, I want to go in this video, kind of a response or a build off of um, um, the elder. Uh, Yasha Wamba of the uh, Dallas camp, okay, uh, Remnant A144. Anyway, the title is "When Will When Will We Get an Answer from the Comedic Gods?" You know, so I kind of like honestly videos like this because I mean, honestly, these guys they have nothing else. So what they do is they'll come up to us. And they question us because they see the chemitism, if you want to call it that, is falling apart. It really had no foundation. It just had foolery because people, Jake was trying to find their way. But we see as being an Israelite, we've, we've moved further ahead to where we can see now that, um, or everybody can see that this chemitism has brought no uh, validation to any of our lives and the uh, question is and I did do the research I even typed in how can Kemet save us right there's no answers there's no facts there's no answers 
there's no come back to Kemet and you'll be delivered with the sky god, the moon god, the sun god, the uh, sexual god. Let me say that because I'll get into that in a second to show you the sickness of the Kemet gods, right? Now this guy, I don't know who he is, but clearly they take a little bit from our history and they kind of roll it in and they learn and you know as you know Egypt had a lot of history with Israelites and how you think Egypt learned what they learned and how did he get where did he got it's because of the Israelites knowing about certain things the, the, the metals and how everything worked with the, the ores of life but they was in, intertwining it with gods and they're doing that now just like as he went into the beginning in the beginning was the word and the word was with God but they never went into the Hebrew to understand what that meant, right? Because it, it just simply meant powers. It was more than one, okay? And this guy, Brother Jabari, he spells it as Israel, and that wasn't the original name, right? So we can clearly see that these guys, they try to dabble and tamper it into something that they don't understand. Now, we won't try to figure out Kemet on high levels because I don't want to. I don't need to know anything about Kemet and all the history of Kemet. I can read on Kemet and I can find that Kemet is a sick religion, right? It's a sick belief. That's all I need to know is that Kemet, Kemet is sick, okay? And um, we'll prove that with this, uh, the God Sobek that he brought out. I'll just read this. And, you know, you might say sometimes Wikipedia is an incredible source, but, you know, I've read this and, you know, you can go to other sources and they'll say the same thing. See, when you go into the history, he was talking about um, certain things that happened with the, uh, the Kemet, the, the clock and the time, the 60 seconds, 60 minutes. Well, you know, all that is e Egyptology anyway. This is why you would have uh, morning then you would have you you have morning, afternoon, oh you have morning you have noon, you have afternoon, you have evening you have night. You know you have midnight, which is supposed to be morning. So you see the confusion. This is all Egypt. This is all wicked worship. It's not supposed to be that way. We didn't roll like that. Right. Until you have our people who now who, who adopted the philosophies even back then. They wanted a God. Egypt wanted a God for every damn thing, man. Just like going back to Babylon. You had, you had all these different gods. Anyway. I'm going to get to the point. So Beck enjoyed a long-suffering presence in ancient Egypt. Pathion from the old kingdom of Egypt. Right? Through the Roman period, C30. I mean, um. Yeah, C30, uh, 350 Common Era. He is the first known from uh, several different pyramid texts, which Jean Chaplion broke down those. And then when you go into history of that, Alexander went into Egypt about that time, conquered Egypt, right? And um, uh, burnt, uh, I believe, burnt the libraries, went to the libraries, burnt all the records, and then you know infused other things in that this is why even when you get the bible you have what you call a septuagint with septuagint means seven right and this is why you'll see our, our, our men our mind our men or whatever in there which you know we can see where that where that goes but these guys don't have the understanding okay uh anyway he, was, he is first known from several different pyramid texts of the Old Kingdom, particularly from the spell, part 317, the spell which praises the Pharaoh as the living incarnation of the crocodile god. So when you look at this, so Beck was uh, the crocodile god. Um, he What he did, he's, he had a human, what it says here, he, had, he has a form as human with a crocodile head. So he's a human being with a crocodile head. This is something that you would see in another realm, right? A wicked, satanic worship. Okay? Anyway, this is one of his speeches. 
um, it praised Pharaoh. It says Eunice is so beck, green of plumage, with <laughs> with alert face and raised for the splashing one who came from the thigh and tail of a great goddess in the sunlight. Eunice has appeared as Sobek, Neith's son. Right? This is where you get son, S-U-N, S-O-N, how they merge it together, but it's another video. Neith's son, because they worship the sun, okay? Eunice will eat with his mouth. Eunice will urinate and Eunice will copulate with his penis. Eunice is lord of semen who takes women from their husbands to place Eunice like according to their heart's fancy. Right? So this is sick, right? But this is what it is. And again, we know this is Wikipedia, but you can go into the sources and see the same stuff. This is just a quick tool to get to. Okay, then you have uh, the nut, the sky goddess, right? <laughs> She's a sky goddess. This is where you get the term semen from nut, right? It's what it is. It might be a little uh, drastic in saying, you know, offensive to some. It says, also known as various transcription, the goddess of the sky. Now, I'm going to just get to the point. Um... The sky god, the the sky goddess Nut, is the daughter of Shu and Tef Tefnut. Her brother and husband is Geb. Now we've seen these stories in Babylon. We've seen it, you know. Her brother and husband is Geb. She had four children: Osiris, Set, and Isis. So this is where Osiris, Set, and Isis come from. A so-called incestuous relationship, right? And you go to Osiris and, and Isis. Um, this is where a lot of you Jakes in, in the Christian Church, Roman Catholicism, follow Serapis Christi, right? Um, to which added Oris to Greco, Greco, Egyptian, right? Going to the Greek Egyptian versus. The myth of Nut and Gab. She is considered one of the oldest deities among the, the, the uh, Egyptian pantheons. So I'm not going to read it anymore. It gets sicker and sick, sicker. The, uh, she symbolized the uterus, you know, uh, depicted as a nude, uh, a nude human woman stretched forth across the sky, you know, um, suckling or mini piglets i mean this stuff is sick but this is what jake follows this is <laughs> colossians 2 and 8 i didn't even have any scriptures i just wanted to jump on this right away colossians 2 and 8 lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit after the, the tradition of men and not after yahweh right uh you know and this is the sickening you know he goes into the free thinking too you know, now it's not that out of some of these crazy religions, you can't get some resources on certain things. But, you know, all all we need is in the scriptures. You know, you don't need to you you, you start following a little bit out of this stuff. Then that'll carry you away. as Ephesians, I believe, 4 and 14 says and every wind of doctrine. Because even in them, they got all kinds of different comedic beliefs or whatever. Right. So he went into going into the halo in the temple, ancient Kemet or whatever. And that's primarily because this man's society, even during the Renaissance, even before then, you know, Jake was adopting, you know, a lot of these practices. It ain't just the fact that you and you, you know, we are Hebrew Israelites, but you got to understand the Hebrew Israelites went off and leaders have also went off. You know, and we, we follow a lot of those practices, just like you have Israelites today who don't know they're Israelites, but they're following Egyptology. They're, they're practicing the customs of the heathen. You know, uh, Jeremiah 10 says the customs of the people are vain. And this is what our people do. 
and they worship all these gods. What's up with all these gods? Not not the fact that they all these gods, because you can have a lot of gods. There's you know we're gods, you know, powers, right? But you have the Most High God, you know. You have His Son. You have the angels, right? You have his men, you know, there's an order, so there's many gods. But we're not depicting ourselves as the god of the sky, the god of this, the god. We understand the most high is the, the most high power of everything. We don't need a thousand gods to worship. The god of the Nile River, and then he half man and half crocodile. The brother and sisters having children, representing the, the penis god and, and semen. And all kinds of stuff. And this is what has been taught to us. You couldn't leave it to the original Africans for them to follow their own customs and their own beliefs. You Jakes, you've adopted all these wicked, wicked practices of every wind of doctrine. You know, because the Lord gave you up to that. Anyway, uh, I don't have much else to say on that. I'm just going to get the... Um, this last scripture, Proverbs 1 and 24. Um, let me go to 1 and 23, I think. Um, 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorners, and fools hate knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof, right? Turn from them ways and follow what we're telling you. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known thy words, my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth. But ye have said a knot at all my counsel and with none of my reproof. And that's why when he's uh, uh, said Netter and the Kemet guys or Christians, whoever came up to Dallas, they they would not be reproved. And if Kemet was so goddamn great, what happened? Why all these gods got their asses kicked by by uh by uh, Alexandrius, right? By um Ptolemy, right? Why did why did he get their all it's all kicked by this man and bring and brought them down by that army? What happened to the sky gods, man? The Nile the Nile gods, the Egyptian gods. They didn't save you. When Alexander came in there and tore it up, man. I mean, Ptolemy came in there, Ptolemy Sota, when he came in there and tore it down, man. Because that was from the, the real God, the heavenly God, the most high God. Okay, that's all I have on that, Shalom. The most high power, Shalom.